Hey, welcome to Acast. We believe every podcaster, big or small, should get paid for their work. My name's Lizzie and I lead the marketing team here. I'm also a podcast super fan. In fact, my podcast app tells me I listen to 3.7 hours worth a day of podcasts on average. I also have a couple of my own shows too. Right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the big one, getting paid for your podcast. Yeah, it's true. Any good podcast should be a labor of love, from books to baking, clubbing to crochet, history to horticulture. It's about you and what you love. But securing a payday is important too, especially if you're in this thing for the long haul. It might cover a slick new mic, it might pay for some editing software, it might even help with rent some months. We want to turn your passion into a side hustle and who knows, maybe even a career. Luckily, Acast has so many tools that allow you to make money and find a route that works for both you and your audience. Podcasting is so personal and making money doesn't have to get in the way of that. Whether it's through advertising in all its forms or membership subscriptions, getting paid for doing what you love is so important in building something which can last. You know what? We've paid out over $240 million to creators like you so far, and they are all earning in different ways. Revenue can start building up the minute you sign up and your listeners hear you for the very first time. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Hey, how are you doing, Welcome, podcast? welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello and welcome. What is happening? Hello. I'm Mark Merritt. And it doesn't need to be complicated. ACAST puts you in complete control. Right, enough waffling from me. Let's get down to business. Here's how to get paid for your podcast. One of the beauties of podcasting is just how individual and tailor-made advertising can be. We'd encourage you to see how ads can start working for you, whatever stage you're at in your podcasting story. You know what I don't like? Stale and irrelevant ads. They're also unprofitable ads. So to keep things nicely fresh and timely, we invented something called dynamic ad insertion. This means that the second a listener presses play on your episode, whether it's just released today or one from a year ago, we find a new relevant ad to put in your episode. It's a bit like magic. And I know we're meant to say this, but we really do work with the world's best brands, people who make colorful, stylish, and quality ads that will sound right at home on your show. More than that, you can also choose categories of brands which you don't feel are right for your audience. At Acast, it's our job to make sure you keep control and your listeners hear the right ad which won't interfere with their experience. We find ads for your show based on the categories it falls into and you have the option of showing us exactly where to put them using what are known as ad markers. There are three types of ad marker. Pre-roll markers usually play at the very start of your episode. Post-roll markers usually play towards the end of your episode. Mid-roll markers can be placed in the middle of any episode that is at least 10 minutes long. And you wanna know a secret? This tends to be the most lucrative ad spot. Before an ad plays in your episode, we'll play our iconic audio logo to let your listeners know the difference between your show and the ads. Side note, did you know that little sting has a name? It's called the Acast North Star. So now that the ads are in, let's get you paid. The amount you earn will depend on the number of listeners you have, your show category, how brand safe your content is, and a few other factors. You'll be building up revenue, but just to manage expectations, you won't receive a payment right away. Once you've reached a certain monthly threshold, for example, $50 in the US, you'll receive simple steps to tell us where to send your money. Easy. You can also track your earnings through the dashboard, showing you exactly what you're owed and how you earned it. And remember, you have earned it. So that's ads, your first step on the ladder of turning what you love into money. If, no, when you get bigger, you may find advertisers want listeners to hear from you directly in your own voice. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, today's podcast is brought to you by our friends at Aussie Hair. Let's Talk About Mitts Baby is sponsored by Signature Hardware. These are what are commonly known as sponsorships. They're recorded endorsements of a product or a brand, read and often scripted by the podcast creator, you. You can fully take control of the advertising in your own style. In fact, it's that personal connection between you and the listeners that our advertisers want to tap into. But 
don't take it from me. Let's hear from a creator who is making sponsorship on ACAST work for them. Our podcast is devoted to sharing the best advice, insights, and interviews around the beauty industry. And we've worked hard to build trust with our listeners. So we have to think hard about the brands that we work with. When ACAST presents us with sponsorship opportunities, we make sure they fit in with the content we're already doing on Fat Mascara. That's why we only work with sponsors that we would personally use ourselves. And when we read an ad, we never read it verbatim, word for word. We speak really naturally about it, put things in our own words, and we talk to each other the way we talk about products. So light, candid, funny, and we just put things in our own words. And many of our listeners message us to tell us when they purchase products or use services from our sponsors so we know they like what we're doing and who we're partnering with. And we really appreciate all the help ACAST gives us to make that happen. Working with brands isn't the only route for making money in podcasting. Increasingly, a lot of creators are supported directly by their listeners through subscriptions and one-off payments. And you may not need masses of listeners to make this work. You just need them to be really into what you're doing. It's a bit of a different approach to advertising, um, and it relies on building a loyal support base before it can be truly sustainable. But when it works, it can be so effective in creating revenue which grows alongside your show's popularity and helps you build a strong two-way relationship with the people who are investing in you. Welcome to Acast Plus. Think of it as the ultimate podcast membership club. It's a way to offer paying listeners ad-free episodes, special collections, bonus content, and much, much more. Sign up is dead easy, and it works across pretty much every listening app like these ones. So this means a super seamless experience for your listeners, no changing apps or even feeds to access their ACAS Plus benefits. Let's look first at monthly subscribers. That is listeners who pay a monthly subscription fee set by you to access benefits. On average, when starting, we see that around two to 5% of audiences will become subscribers. Shows that promote frequently and persistently can see upwards of seven to 10%. But this process can take a while. Podcasts are slow burning experiences built on trust and faith. So don't be disheartened if things take a while to ramp up. Persevere, focus on your show and the subscribers, they'll come in time. Let's look at how to get started on Acast Plus. Right, one, log into your Acast account. Two, hit monetize on the dashboard, and then three, select launch ACAS Plus now. You'll need to work out what you can offer for your listeners in return for their subscription. You can set up a range of tiers for different amounts of money and assign different benefits to each. Benefits which you can offer through ACAS include ad-free episodes. ACAS can automatically remove all the ads and sponsorships from an episode, neat. Bonus episodes, more of your show exclusively for the people who love it most and early access, get episodes to your super fans before anyone else can listen. Access to archive, podcast listeners love a deep dive. Holding back your archive is a great way of turning new listeners into paying subscribers. You can also customize these tiers to fit with the themes and the stories of your show, call them whatever you like. Acast has all the tools you need to convert your audience to a membership, including an intro message added to your regular episodes explaining what your subscription is and how to subscribe, like this. Welcome to the club, everyone. And this. Just before the episode starts, we wanted to say a big thank you. What's even cooler is that you can tailor these messages to make sure existing subscribers aren't served them. You can also test your listeners' appetite for subscriptions with one-time payments for special episodes, bonus content, or bundles of episodes in one go. This can be a really great low stakes way of bringing them closer to your show without that pressure of ongoing payments. You're also not limited to podcasts. Audio content like audiobooks, stand-up sets, live recordings, and more can all be delivered to your audience through ACAST Plus. Subscriptions on Acast Plus work because they're a great example of what makes podcasts so special. It's about you, what you love, and connecting you to the people who love what you do. Hello, it is Zoe Marshall from The Deep Podcast and The Deeper Subscription. Just wanted to jump on and tell you why I believe the subscription model is so vital, and that is because as producers of podcast creators, very often it is hard to fund that, whether that is through ad placement, me specifically, my content is, is hard to sell. It is, uh, it's tricky, it's sexy, it's, it's gritty. Um, and I was going to shut it all down. And I think that's really sad because we have such a committed, engaged audience that 
they're kind of cult followers. Uh, and so I got to a point where subs were coming out and I thought, shit, I'm gonna trial this. I'm gonna see if my audience values me enough to put money behind extra content that is premium, that is worth it, that exceeds expectations. And they said, yes. Uh, and we have had incredible success and incredible growth through that medium. Um, I could talk about it forever, but if you are thinking about doing a sub model, I'm your poster girl. It has shifted everything for me as a business. I have a long way I can go now where I was completely burnt out doing it for free. Um, so that is it. Good luck with it. So this episode should have given you a feel for the monetization options open to you and your podcast. But the headline is you deserve to be rewarded for the work that you're putting in. And there's never been a better time to explore ways of getting paid for doing what you love. Find out more at acast.com slash monetize. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Brilliant.